you? <laughs> You're not really, are you? Yeah. I see. Oh, you actually are. I actually are. <laughs> oh no, the ball stopped in the middle. Huh? This is not throwing it hard enough. There we go. Alright, we're just gonna try this again. So it's still. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Good job, Kaden. All right, now it's Mr. Devin's turn. What will he do? What will he do? Now you gotta wait for the pin. Don't throw it before the pins come up. Remember, try and get it in between the dots. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at you, Devin. There you go. Yep. Holy cow, you got some spin on that thing. What? Oh, that one pin. Good job. Good job, buddy. Hey, everybody. It's Jenny. It's the day of uh, the extraction from my lymph nodes in my chest. They blew a vein. Ooh, and I hit the camera. Getting some IV. Waiting on an anesthesiologist to come in. And Dr. Cherokee did come in and visit me. He said that they're going to go through um, my neck right here to try and get to the lymph nodes in my chest. Um, and they're not really too big. They're one point, the biggest one is 1.5 centimeters. So he said if they're not able to get the lymph node, they'll go, they'll get out and then they'll go in through my rib and take some of the lesions off on my diaphragm. And then he said something really amazing. <laughs> ah, ah, sorry. <laughs> is this still recording? Okay, it is. Okay, you probably saw my legs, but okay. Um, he said that what he, he wants to get a big enough sample so that he can send off part of my tumors to a specialty company that will custom make a chemotherapy. They'll like they'll slice into it and they'll test it and they'll see what chemo drugs kill it and what chemo drugs don't. And he said, I just don't want to waste your time. He's like, we need to get, you know, we need to know what works with this. And so I said, he said, it takes a few weeks to do that. I said, well, then that gives me enough time to get a port put in. And so the idea that he's actually going to be sending my stuff off to, to a specialty company to see which drugs kill this cancer makes me feel really, really good. So, and then he left, but not before I was like, thank goodness my plastic surgeon wanted to do the STT scan. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know. So, he's really funny. Oh, look, there's my boo. That's my bat. <laughs> All right, well, that's my check-in, and I will try and check in with you after the surgery um, to let you know what they ended up doing. Hopefully, I have one scar instead of two. Um, All right, stay tuned. Hey, everybody, it's Jenny. Um... I just wanted to kind of close out the video and let you guys know how I'm doing. Um, <laughs> as you can see, uh, it's pretty swollen. I'm on day two after getting my chest biopsy. Um, it hurts. They told me that it wouldn't hurt. It hurts. It hurts really bad. Um, 
like, well, one nurse kind of told me that they cut through the muscles that are right there that go up here. And so, yeah, those hurt the most. This is still, I mean, it's kind of itchy, but it feels like it did when I first got out of the surgery. It felt like my throat had been slashed open, which it had. Um, so I kind of, you know, I have a greater appreciation for um, people who get traumatized and, like, get their throats slashed and live through it. So um, even though this is just... It's about that big, but it hurts so bad. So, um, I'm d I'm two days out from surgery, and I'm doing all right. I'm looking forward to the next week, the next few days to a week when I really start feeling better, because it's really hard to sleep at night. Um, so let me just give you a quick rundown of exactly what we're looking at and what we're looking for. Um. They did, you know, they, they found something in my CT scan. They found a lymph node in my chest. And actually, it wasn't my esophagus. I don't know where I got esophagus from, except for the only thing I can think of is that Dr. Cherokee said that the lymph node was near my esophagus. Or maybe he accidentally said esophagus. I don't know. But it's actually four or five lesions along my diaphragm. Um, he was showing, you know, I went and did the PET scan last week, and I, when I was done with the PET scan, I went to go see him and ask him to show me what he was looking at. Um, and he said that the, the lymph node in my chest, they don't really worry about that kind of stuff until it's 2 centimeters and it's 1.5. Um, but that he was, he was confused about the diaphragm, you know, diaphragm is thin muscle that lays over the liver and underneath the lungs. And so here's my liver, here's my diaphragm. And last year, he showed me a picture from last year's CT scan. It was smooth over my liver. And now, now, okay, I'm going to take my hand away. Now it's got lesions on the top. So it's not headed towards my liver. It's actually headed towards my lungs. Um, so they did this surgery to biopsy the lymph node in my chest. It went through and underneath my chest bone, like my chest plate, um, to get that lymph node. Uh, they're sending part of it off to pathology and part of it off to a specialty group um, because I'm pretty sure, like my doctor is just, like he's pretty sure it's cancer. Um, because he was like, I'm going to send this off to a specialty group and they're going to slice it, test it to different chemotherapies and we're going to, we're going to find a chemo that responds to your cancer. Um, he's like, I just, I don't want to waste your time. And he's like, I just, we need to get on it. But that takes a few weeks. And I said, well then, you know, that gives me plenty of time to heal from this and then get a port and heal from that. And then we can start chemo. And he said, yes. Um, so if, I'm trying not to cry because it uses my neck muscles and that hurts. Um, so if this comes back negative, then what they have to do, they're going to go in and biopsy my diaphragm. Uh, the reason they didn't do both is because the diaphragm biopsy is a lot more painful than this one. Um, they'd have to go in between my ribs and they're, because it's on this side and it's the side that I did radiation. Um, there's a chance that they'll crack ribs, and it's just more painful. So, you know, Chris was like, well, I hope that this comes back negative. I was like, I don't want it to come back negative because I don't want to go through that surgery. And he was like, well, what if you go through that surgery and those come back negative? Then you don't have cancer. And I was like, well, that's true. You know, I guess I'd rather go through all this pain and find out that I'm not going to die or, you know, I'm not going to have to go through chemo again. Um, but, you know, it's like, I don't want to go through any of it. I won't go through any of it. So, because if it's in my diaphragm, and this would be considered stage 4, it's in my lymph nodes and it's in my diaphragm, then I'm stage four because it's part of the lung system. Um, now I'm going to fight and I'm going to do everything I can 
to not die, <laughs> but um, I'm really scared. I'm really heartbroken that I even have to go through this again. That I'm having to go through the tests. But I'm really glad that, you know, if this is a recurrence, I'm really glad that um, my plastic surgeon ordered that CT scan because literally with my cancer having a 90% growth rate um, by the time I actually really felt bad enough to go to the doctor um, it probably would have been throughout my lungs and I wouldn't have I'd have less time to get my stuff together you know um, and I hope that this is a lesson to the medical, you know, if this is a recurrence, I hope that this is a lesson to the medical field that with triple negative, and maybe it has something to do with my BRCA1 positive, but because I'm triple negative, it's not always going to show recurrence in blood work. So scans are important. Um, this cancer is its own beast and you can't base one person's cancer off of another they're all different and unique just like we are and so I just hope that you know that this is a lesson because nothing's showing up in my blood work I mean I'm still really 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 hoping that it's nothing um but the, just the way the doctors are talking uh, it's not very helpful, so I don't know. As soon as I find something out, I will post an update and uh, take you along for the ride and all of that. So I'm here, I'm alive, <laughs> and um, slowly but surely healing from my surgery. Uh, this hurts way more than the port. This hurts way more than my hysterectomy um, and I kind of want to say it hurts more than um, I want to say that it hurts more than the double mastectomy because with the, with my breast being removed everything's numb everything was numb except for the pain in my arm um, but this is like my whole neck even the back of my neck is really tender and um, I don't know, like, everything in this area just, eh, it just hurts, it's nasty. Um, but like I said, every day will get better, so check your boobs, check your balls, and when life gets really overwhelming and your neck hurts like a bizatch from surgery, just remember, this too shall pass and every day you'll be feeling better and better. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Have a good day. Bye. Ciao, Devin. Oh, no, no, no. Aww. It's all right. That's the first time it's happened today. <laughs>